Hi everybody, thanks for tuning in to another 4-H Friday. Uh, my name is Tara Marble and I work for the University of Maine Cooperative Extension. I am a 4-H youth development professional in Franklin County. Today's activity is going to be called Exploding Baggies and it's a way to highlight a chemical reaction. So we'll be combining two substances that you can find at your home uh, and kind of seeing what the results are. My children are going to be in the video as well because just like most of you, we are practicing distance learning and they thought it might be fun to join in. My children are Lucia and she is seven and John Leo who is five. Uh, they are both enrolled in 4-H and they love doing these activities. So I encourage you guys at home to try these activities too. Uh, while we're all practicing distance learning, um, this is just a fun way to break up your day a little bit and explore some science. Hi everybody! Uh, we are about to do our activity for today and our activity is going to be a really fun way to observe a chemical reaction. So I'm at home with my kids, which I'm sure a lot of you are stuck at home now, right guys? We've been stuck at home for like two weeks now, right? <laughs> And uh, this is an activity that's really easy and the materials you need are things that you can find right in your house. So we are going to need um, white vinegar. If you have other kinds of vinegar, that will work too. You're also going to need baking soda and some kind of zipping plastic baggie. You also need, and I know this stuff is at a premium right now, but toilet paper. <laughs> or if you don't have toilet paper, or you don't want to use toilet paper, you can use tissue paper, other tissues, um, things like that. That it will all work. We're also going to need to use some measuring devices. So I have here a half cup measuring cup, and then I also have here a teaspoon and I said we're gonna need a tablespoon of the baking powder baking soda so how many teaspoons are in a tablespoon do you know do you know three yeah. three. 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 three we did some baking earlier this week so we did some um, mathematic conversions on some of our measuring equipment so we know that three teaspoons equal one tablespoon so what I'm gonna have you guys do is each get a baggie and I'm, we're gonna open the bags very carefully so we don't rip the bag. And we are going to measure a half a cup of our vinegar and put it into our bags. And then we're gonna close the bags, zip them tight, and we're gonna set them on the ground for a minute while we do the rest. Then we are going to take our toilet paper and we're gonna take, you know, a couple sheets of it and we're gonna kind of layer it if you've got the uh, <laughs> the single ply here. <laughs> we're going to add, how many of these did we say? Uh, three. Three. Okay, we're going to add these to the middle. Can you hold it up so we don't spill it? Three. All right, and then we're going to wrap it up. Wrap, 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 wrap it up. Wrap, wrap, wrap. Wrap it up. <laughs> yeah, and then we're going okay. to wrap our diamond. And then you're going to hold it like this. Lucia, can you come here and we're going to do the same thing with you? Yeah. What we're going to do is you're going to hold those shut. You're going to take your bags. Mm -hmm. That's one. Okay, you're going to open your bags. You're going to drop in your little um, toilet paper. Your toilet paper pouch. You're going to close the bag really quick. You're going to shake the bag. You're going to put it on the ground and then we're going to step away and see what happens, okay? So we're going to open these at the same time. Drop it in there. Shut it real quick. Okay? Shut it real quick. You got to shut the whole thing real quick. Okay, back up. Shake them. And we're going to drop them on the ground and see what happens. We came back inside after that one because it was pretty cold outside. And so we're going to talk about a little bit what we did. Yeah, we shut it, right? We shook it up. And then what happened? What did you see happening? It exploded and bubbled up. Bubbled up. What happened to the bag? It growed. It was growing. It was getting bigger? When we did this and it filled up, what was it filling up with, you think? Air. Air. And how did you know that something was changing? What do you think happened with the baking soda and the vinegar? They were mixed together. And they were releasing? Air. Air. Air, a gas. So do you think it's like air like we breathe, or do you think it's something different? Different. Something different. It is something different. That's a really good guess. So the bag changed. You saw it filling up. And then what happened to the bag? It exploded and blew up. 
yeah, it exploded and blew up. So we hope that you guys can go home and try this out at your house. Love like for you guys to try this activity at home. You could even try different variations on it. You might want to use a different container. Uh, maybe adding some food coloring to the vinegar. You could also change the amounts of the vinegar and the baking soda to see that how that might affect your chemical reaction. Before you do any of that though, make sure you get adult permission um, and we would love to hear what you guys discover. So please share with us on our Facebook page and don't forget to use the hashtag, hashtag Maine 4H Friday and we'll see you guys next Friday. Thanks so much.